How my magazine represents social groups. Uh, my magazine represents rep 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 social groups because of look at how, it, how, it how it's designed, basically. Because uh, people on the front cover, they're quite clean, well-dressed, so they can be seen as quite formal, which it can, can I counteract with my writing as well, but you can also see like what they're wearing as well. It's quite representative of like, how stylish someone can be when they're quite young, so people may like try and copy this as well. Uh, the bright colours are uh, continuing quite chill looking, so like it kind of represents uh, teenagers just wanting to chill back into like college or something after they've been working. Work in. Uh, this is going to be saying about the uh, facial expressions as well. Uh, they're not really uh, they're not really shown too well, so it shows that like they're quite laid back, you know, with black faces. Like they have no worries really. Uh, the race there's uh, there's plenty of people there. There's a uh, white and African African American, so it kind of shows like. There's no disrespect between different people, there's, like, there's no boundaries or anything, so they're, they're kind of all friends. Uh, it doesn't really have a designated gender, to be honest. I mean, the light blue can be seen as a like, masculine or you know, quite male, but it doesn't really have like, you know, a, a specific gender towards it. Uh, the age, it can be seen as quite young, because uh, of, uh, of the three people in front of it, they're quite young people. So, uh, Many teenagers might want to try and copy them, and uh, you know, got a slight style as I said before. And like, because they're teenagers as well, they might want to talk about them and uh, copy them. The uh, double page spread is simple. It's, it's got a grey scale, and it's got like on the image, it's like it's got all the people looking away from them. So it's like they're kind of replicating each other. Like they're all the same. So there's nothing really different about them, even though they're wearing different clothing. They don't really think like different of each other. Yeah, the typography, it can be seen as quite informal and uh, quite, quite, quite slang on the uh, front of it, like just the lit, it's not really like a complete word, it's not really a real word, like really like a complete sentence. So and the, it's quite bold writing, quite loud basically because of the big text, so it can be seen as like, like what a young person might like, actually write or create or something. Uh, institutions that might distribute my products and why, I chose Vibe just because they kind of copy how my design looks and uh, you've got like the expressionless people on front of it like showing the whole people and they're all wearing like different clothes like they can be seen as like people read it and want to copy them and all that uh, they're quite laid back as well like you know because of the lack of expression like, uh, facial expression like it's not really they're not really ever exaggerating anything on the clothes like it's something crazy it's just wearing what they're wearing uh, uh, another uh, issue is like HMV might actually uh, sell my magazine. It's got like a wide uh, range of them, and like they even have their own app as well. So like as young people have like devices, they like might see it on the app and like buy it and all that. 